I think I've used the Model 12 every day since I got it a couple months ago. I had no idea I would be using it this much. I was mostly interested in the Model 12's multi-track recording features and if the Model 12 could be a replacement and recommendation for people who wanted to get into 4-track cassette recording. 4-track prices have gotten out of control and so have the emails, DMs, and comments I've been receiving from people getting burned buying them online. I'm planning to do a comparison video about the features and sounds of the Model 12 versus the Task Cam 424 Mark III. If that's something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Spoiler alert, aside from the fact that the 424 records to cassette, the Model 12 is basically a 424 from the future. The Model 12 is also a lot of other things, many of which I haven't explored yet. The two main ways I've been using it is as a mixer and a multi-track recorder. When I'm not using it to record, I use it as a hub for all of my gear and computer audio on a daily basis. Prior to getting the Model 12, I was trying to think of a way to use my monitors for the two computers I have. One is a Mac laptop and the other is a PC. I looked into studio monitor switching devices, which are basically ABY boxes with a selector knob you can buy or build. About a week into having the Model 12, I had a eureka moment. I could use it as the switching device. The Model 12 is a great switching solution if you have one pair of monitors and multiple sound sources you want to use with them. I haven't run into any issues using the Model 12 as a standalone mixer and hub to route all my signals into. When I first got the Model 12, I was perturbed by stereo inputs 7, 8, and 9, 10. While you technically can record to 10 tracks, you only have 8 channels. 7, 8, and 9, 10 are essentially mono tracks that can be recorded in stereo. Obviously, these stereo channels and tracks are useful for recording in stereo. Would I rather have 10 mono channels and tracks? Absolutely. But these are actually two or four of the most used inputs in my setup currently. 910 receives the left and right monitor out from the Apollo Twin, which is my Mac's main interface and audio source. I'm using short runs of unbalanced cable and it works perfectly with no noise. It's basically set it and forget it, mute it when I'm not using it. 78 receives the left and right stereo out from my PC motherboard. I use my PC mostly for work and watching movies. The sound quality from the motherboard is actually quite good. I'm using a stereo breakout cable into 78 from the PC motherboard. Board. In terms of instruments, the DigiTac uses channels 1 and 2 and the Minotaur uses channel 6. It's awesome to be able to have these instruments plugged in and running full time through my monitors. I've been doing a lot of jamming with them recently. The Volca FM is another favorite and I wish I had another stereo input for it. I mainly sample FM sounds into the DigiTac as of late so I guess it's not necessary. Maybe this idea of using the Model 12 as a mixer and hub is pedestrian to you but I've never had a setup like this before. Before, and it has revolutionized my workflow. I know there's also a way to use the Model 12 as a MIDI controller, but I haven't gotten there yet. The last thing I have hooked up is my Duquesne medallion to give my mic a little bump. That's actually what I'm recording this voiceover through. And that's another way I've been using the Model 12 for voiceovers and podcasting. But that's a topic for another time. Special thanks to Steve, Jody, Andrew, Patty, Matt, Devin, Tebow, Cody, and all my patrons at patreon.com slash 424 recording. Godspeed, my friends. Make sure you do something you want to do today. That was the one.